if your hair has been looking dull, if you have been using the same products for a while and you always get bomb results and then out of nowhere your hair is just not acting right, clarify it. <laughs> YouTube channel if you're a regular here hey girl hey hey vecina how you doing if you're new here my name is Ada also known as Ada in English if you're new to my channel and you are not subscribed stop what you're doing and go ahead and hit that subscribe button somewhere around here so that you can stay up to date with all of my videos and join the vecina family because you know we all neighbors we all family this video has been highly requested after I posted recently somewhat of a controversial video in regards to silicone and curly hair. As most of you all know, silicones is something that the curly community has always shunned and has always shied away from and has always preached about how terrible and horrible they are for your hair. And I actually really like silicones and I use them very often and I love the way that my hair looks and feels with them. And I've never had an issue with silicones, which is what I explained in that video. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll go ahead and link it either in the description box below or you can click one of the tags here so you can go ahead and watch it. It's a really great video. Thank you so much for all the amazing comments and replies in that video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch it and kind of opening your mind up to silicone and the possibilities of them in your life. Now, one of the things that I did mention in the video is that because I use silicones, I also counteract them by clarifying my hair. And a lot of you guys wanted to know A, what clarifying was, and B, what were some of my favorite products to clarify my hair. So that is what this video is all about. So let's begin. What does it mean to clarify your hair? What is a clarifying shampoo? What does it do? A clarifying shampoo is a marketing approved way to say deep cleansing. So basically, a clarifying shampoo is just a deep cleansing shampoo. You have your regular shampoo and then a clarifier is just gonna give you that extra deep cleansing. For me, I refer to clarifying shampoos as resets. It's a great way to reset your hair and kind of give your hair a blank slate to work on before you start adding your styles and products. As you guys know, over time, all those styles that you use, even if they don't have silicones or sulfates or parabens and all that stuff, it does start to pile up and build up on your hair. And if you co-wash your hair, which is something that I don't recommend, and I can talk about that in, a, in another video, let me know if you're interested to hear my take on co-washing. But if you co-wash your hair, all that conditioner starts to build up on your hair and your scalp cannot breathe, not get moisturized, you won't get the protein that you need in order for your hair to stay strong. Build up can accumulate over time no matter what products you use, especially when you're not shampooing your hair regularly, which I know is something that the curly community preaches against, not shampooing your hair because it strips your hair of its natural oils. But I feel like shampooing your hair is beneficial for a healthy scalp. It allows your scalp to breathe, it allows you to get that moisture you need in there, those proteins, all of that to give you healthy scalp, healthy hair growth, all of the above. It doesn't matter what products you use, over time you will get build up. And especially if your scalp is prone to build up naturally, there are some of us that are more prone to scalp build up, which is why I always preach getting to know your hair, getting to know your scalp, what it likes and what it doesn't like. But most importantly, I just love clarifying because it really does start you off on a clean slate, fresh start. If your hair has been looking dull, if you have been using the same products for a while and you always get bomb results and then out of nowhere your hair is just not acting right, clarify it. A lot of people will preach against clarifying your hair, but I feel like clarifying your hair is really crucial and I personally clarify my hair at least once a month, sometimes more if I need it, maybe two times a month. It really depends on how my scalp is doing and what I feel like my hair needs, but I make sure to clarify my hair once a month because it makes a huge difference. Now, reasons why you would wanna clarify your hair. 
build up obviously as I stated in my last video I do use silicones those silicones tend to build up over a while and it really doesn't matter what products you use even if you do not use products that have silicones you will get build up over time so you just want to make sure that you're deep cleansing your hair and removing all the build up removing all that gunk so that you can really start off with the fresh slate a huge problem that I had before I started clarifying my hair on the regular was just my hair not acting right and I'm sure you guys are like well what do you mean by that Ada you know what I mean you use the same products you know exactly what results those products are gonna give you which is why you use them you use them in the exact order as you use them every time and out of nowhere your hair is just not cooperating even though it's the same products that you've always used and you just can't figure out why you're not getting the results that you always get and it really starts to bother you and get on your nerves because you really can't pinpoint why your hair is not acting right and I would get so frustrated and angry because I really couldn't figure out why my hair was not acting right and at first I thought it was maybe the change of the seasons okay well I need to change my products at the season change the weather blah 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 but then I'm like no it's not that because even when I would switch my products and I would still use the same products for a certain amount of time my hair would just stop acting right it would just be cute 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 and then out of nowhere I would just start having bad days using the same stuff and I couldn't figure it out until I found out about clarifying and how important it is for your hair and I swear to you once I clarified my hair once I started clarifying my hair once a month to remove all the buildup, my hair was back on point. So whenever your hair is just off and acting funny, even though you're using the same products that you always use that give you the best results, girl, clarify your hair and I promise you, you will see a big difference. I know at least for me, I definitely have, which is why I continue to clarify my hair once a month. And because I use silicones, it's definitely something that I do monthly, if not more, depending on what my hair needs. I also wanna mention that you can even get buildup from the minerals that you wash your hair with. If you live in a state that has very hard water, those minerals will start to build up on your hair over time, which is why it's so important to clarify. I mean, like I could go on and on about the importance of clarifying your hair. Also, if you're a swimmer and you spend a lot of your time in the pool or maybe during the summer you frequent the pool a lot you definitely want to clarify your hair to remove the chlorine and all that stuff from your hair so clarifying is important people if you're like me and you go long periods of time without washing your hair because you love maximizing your wash and goes you need to be clarifying your hair trust me all that product that you put every time you refresh your hair it's gonna start to build up and your hair is gonna act funky I just know that it has made such a huge difference in my hair and I want to share that that with you guys now there's a bunch of clarifying shampoos on the market and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my absolute favorite ones the good thing is that if you are a curly girl that follows the curly girl method and you really don't want to mess with silicones and sulfates and all of that there are some clarifying shampoos that will clarify your hair without removing the natural oils in your hair they do not contain sulfates they do not contain silicones and if you are someone that really wants to shy away from those things I have some clarifying shampoos that you will really like I'm going to start off with the least harsh clarifying shampoos and then we'll work our way up. I'm sure a lot of you guys are very familiar with this product. It's from Diva Curl. It launched last year. It's your Build Up Buster and it's a micellar water cleansing serum. While Diva Curl has never advertised this as a clarifying shampoo, I like to think of it as their version of a clarifying shampoo because of the properties that it has to really remove buildup from your hair. This is really cool because it uses micellar technology to like attract all the dirt kind of like magnets and remove all that buildup. This is great for anyone who follows the curly girl method and doesn't want to use any silicones, parabens, or sulfates in their hair. I feel like I use this when I need like a little light cleansing you know not, nothing crazy I feel like the more that you get to know your hair the more you'll understand what I mean but this is for like my light cleansing type of days um I definitely would use something else in my arsenal when I need like a heavy heavy type of cleansing but this is more something that I would use on my light type of day you just apply it on your scalp and I love that it has a nozzle because you can really guide the product in there you massage the scalp you rinse it out you follow up with a conditioner and then you style your hair as usual so that is the diva curl build up Buster. Next product on my list is Cantu. It's their apple cider vinegar root rinse. It has tea tree oil in it. It's a gentle scalp detox. It doesn't have any sulfates, silicones, or parabens, or mineral oils. It's great for weaves, braid, locks, and extensions. And I first started using this when I had my locks. Do you guys remember when I had my faux locks in last summer? Well, I had them in right around the time that Cantu launched this, and they sent me this, and it was literally perfect timing because 
my scalp was itching so bad from my faux locks oh my god and i had no idea what to do it was my first time having a protective style in my hair so i really didn't know how to care for it i didn't know how to wash it and this was literally a lifesaver i love it because of the tea tree oil like you just put it on your hair and it just Oh my god the apple cider vinegar clarifies your hair but the tea tree oil really soothes the hair and makes your hair feel clean and washed and refreshed and i just cannot get enough of this and it's super affordable for example compared to the uh built up buster from diva curl i just love this stuff so if you have a protective style and you're desperate to get rid of that itch and wash your hair i highly highly suggest this from cantu like I can't recommend it enough. It's super affordable and it really works and it really helps give you that refreshed feeling. I even use it when my scalp, I just feel like I need a good refreshing because I really love the tea tree oil that it has in it. So I can't recommend this enough, love it. The next product is very similar, but it's from a different brand. This is from Cream of Nature. And as you can see, I literally use all these products. Like I'm not, first of all, I hope you guys know that unless I'm doing a first impressions video with a new product that I've never tried, I would never come on here and talk about products that I've never used before. I just wanna clarify that. Anyway, this is from Cream of Nature. It has argan oil from Morocco in it. This is an apple cider vinegar clarifying rinse. This removes product buildup, seals the cuticle, helps protect the natural pH of hair and refresh your scalp. It also doesn't have any petroleum sulfate, silicone, min mineral oil, and no alcohol. You don't need to mix it. It's already pre-mixed. It has a cooling sensation to refresh your scalp, which it definitely does, but I feel like the one from Cantu has more of a cooling sensation on the scalp. As you all know, apple cider vinegar rinses are extremely beneficial for you. You can go the all natural way and do your own apple cider vinegar rinse at home but i really love this one and the one from Cantu because it doesn't have that like pung pung how do you say that word pungnant pungnant sorry my bilingual brain can't even like pronounce the word right now but you know what i'm saying it has that like strong apple cider vinegar smell that is sometimes really hard to get out of your hair and i just rather use these because this one has like a nice fragrancy like argan type of smell to it and this one has a nice tea tree smell to it so i really like using this versus making my own apple cider vinegar rinse concoction at home because that smell girl that smell if you just can't deal with the smell in your hair check these out next i have this product which is actually from the dominican republic and will soon be in stores in new york i don't know how their availability will be in the rest of the united states but definitely you can check out their website to see when they will be in a store near you this is a product called afro love it's from the dominican republic and let me tell you it makes me so happy to see that a dominican brand is making natural hair products for the women who have natural hair in the island. It's just been phenomenal to see Dominican women embrace their natural hair, especially with Carolina opening up her salon in DR. It's just been an amazing journey to watch. And I don't know if you guys follow Afro Mio on YouTube. Her name is Steph. She has a channel all in Spanish. She worked alongside this brand in DR as the product was being developed to make sure that this product was gonna be like the absolute best for us curly girls. I have used the products. I haven't done a formal review on it on my channel. Stephanie me mandó los productos de Santo Domingo cuando lanzaron. Stephanie sent me the products from DR when they launched. Y estoy pensando hacer una... How do you say review? <laughs> No les voy a prometer que voy a empezar a hacer videos en español porque en realidad es bien difícil tratar de hacer los videos en español en inglés. Pero quizás en el futuro pudiera hacer videos en español, hablar un poquito más español en mis videos porque si ustedes no saben, el español es mi primer idioma, pero como hablo tanto en inglés aquí, a veces se me olvida algunas palabras. Y no sé si pudiera sentarme a grabar un video enterito en español porque yo sé que sé videos. <risas> So chicas, me dejan un comentario abajo y me dejan saber si ustedes están interesada en que yo haga un video en español con estos productos. If you guys are interested in me doing a video in Spanish talking about these products, let me know. If not, I can also do a video in Spanglish. Spanish is my first language. I actually learned English when I went to school and 
growing up bilingual is great but it's also tricky because your brain is like operating on two different wavelengths and sometimes I can't remember how to say stuff in Spanish or I can't remember how to say something in English. I don't know about filming videos in Spanish only but maybe I'll do Spanglish. Let me know if you guys would be cool with that. Leave a thumbs up on this video or leave me a comment below. Okay back to this product. So this is a shampoo from the Afro Love line. It is sulfate free and silicone free and free of minerals. It has mint eucalyptus and rosemary and oh my god if you know me you know that i am a sucker for essential oils i am obsessed with essential oils essential oils have so many amazing benefits for your hair especially rosemary eucalyptus and mint i already knew that i was gonna love this product from the moment i read that it has mint eucalyptus and rosemary in it mint stimulates and soothes the scalp eucalyptus cleans grease deposits and rosemary restores hair's natural luster this product is great it does sud like a shampoo but it doesn't give you like that crazy lather so you do get some type of lather but the feeling of the mint the eucalyptus and the rosemary on your scalp it just makes your hair feel so clean and refreshed and renewed and like you just got a nice deep cleanse so I love 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 the shampoo for my girls who live out of state you might have to check online and see how you can get it to you but just know that I love the shampoo and it's so cool because it's from the Dominican Republic. Next up we have Carol's Daughter. If you have not tried the products from Lisa's Hair Elixir line, oh my god, you are truly freaking missing out. I know that this product line is not sold in like retailers like Target or CVS. I feel like this is more of like her HSN stuff and to be honest with you, I'm not really too crazy about the Carol's Daughter products that are sold in like Target and CVS and those type of retailers, but the stuff that she sells on HSN Listen, I know it's a higher price point and I don't care. I'm willing to spend the money and I really wish some of this stuff was sold in actual retailers. If it is being sold in retailers, then forgive me because I was not aware of that. But so far I've seen this stuff on HSN and I just freaking love it. Like I mentioned this product line in one of my older videos where I talk about like my top favorite Carol's Daughters product and I reference her hair elixir line to be like the equivalent of like mentor for your hair. Oh my God, it's like you literally put Vicks on your hair. It's like that instant soothing, like refreshing, tingling, obsessed. By now, you should know that anything eucalyptus, anything tea tree, anything rosemary, mint, like I really love essential oils and I love them in my hair products. This has eucalyptus oil in it to clarify the hair. It has sage oil to rejuvenate and it has lemon oil to purify the hair. This has no sulfates, no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oil, and no artificial colors. I feel like most of the products that I mentioned so far are sulfate free. So if you're looking for a clarifying shampoo that doesn't have any sulfates and it's not going to strip your hair of its natural oils definitely check out all the products that I mentioned because they don't have any sulfates. A lot of them don't even have silicones, which is great for those of you who follow the Curly Girl Method. Second bottle, by the way, second bottle, and I'm down to this much. So I need to stock up on this because this is bait right here. Now, last but not least, this is the product that I use when I need a hard reset. This is the product that I use when I need a deep, deep, deep cleaning and I know that none of these products are gonna be able to give me that deep cleaning. All these other products just are not gonna cut it. This is my go-to when I need a hard reset and I just need to start from scratch from zero. This is from KMS California. I believe you can buy this in Ulta. I will have all the products listed and linked below if you wanna get your hands on them. This is their hair stay clarifying shampoo that's gonna give you a deep cleanse and remove buildup. This is like my third or fourth bottle. This stuff really lasts me a long time time because I don't use it every week to shampoo. I only use it once a month and I do have a bunch of other clarifying shampoos that I like to use too as well. So this bottle generally is going to last you a while. I believe you can get this in Ulta. If not, I'll have the link to everything listed below in the description box if you want to get your hands on any of the products that I mentioned. This product does have sulfate so you are going to get a nice rich lather from using this and like i said this is like my go-to product when i need a really hard reset so i love this stuff a little goes a long way because it does lather you don't need to use a lot of it but when i find that like my hair is just 
gunky like I use a good amount and I just go ham and I clean my hair it does say that it's gentle enough for daily use but I wouldn't necessarily use it for daily use especially if you're a curly girl because it does have sulfates in it and it really does give you a deep cleansing so if you use this once a month you should be good to go now because this product has sulfates and the other products that I mentioned don't necessarily have sulfates I highly recommend that after you clarify your hair period but if you clarify your hair especially with this that you do a deep conditioning mask because I have color in my hair and because I'm a curly girl I always deep condition when I wash my hair it doesn't matter if I clarify it or not I am deep conditioning my hair deep conditioning makes a huge difference if you're not deep conditioning your hair once a week girl you need to get it together I promise you it's gonna change the game for you your washing goals are gonna look popping your hair is gonna be more moisturized but I can't recommend deep conditioning enough especially when you clarify your hair you should be deep conditioning every single time you clarify your hair if not every single time you wash your hair that's just my personal opinion the only other shampoo that is not included in this lineup that I highly recommend and I can't show it to you because I don't have it physically here with me but I will insert a picture right here is the honey baby honey child gentle shampoo oh my god that shampoo will literally cleanse your hair and it will not strip your hair at all it is the only shampoo that I have ever used in my life that actually moisturizes your hair I don't know what kind of brujeria is in that shampoo but I can't recommend that shampoo enough especially if you have kids that's gonna be a shampoo that you're gonna be able to use on yourself on your kids on the whole entire family and it really does a good job at cleansing the hair in a gentle way without stripping the hair of its moisture but almost adding moisture back to the hair like I said I don't know what brujeria is in in the shampoo Aisha girl I don't know what you did to that shampoo but it is literally like one of my absolute favorite shampoos it is so so good if you haven't tried it you need to get on it it's like it, it's amazing I just don't understand how a shampoo can be so cleansing and moisturizing at the same time you guys need to try it anyways thank you so much for watching this video those were all of my favorite clarifying shampoos I hope this helps you all especially if you are someone who uses silicones in your life if you haven't watched my silicone video you need to go watch it for sure that way this video can make a little bit more sense but if you're looking for some great clarifying shampoos just to remove all the buildup of your hair and give your hair a fresh start when you wash definitely check out these shampoos because you won't be disappointed thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye